two big things we've seen in tech in 2019 in the first month, two months of the year is 5G and foldable phones. We recently saw Samsung released their foldable Galaxy phone. Mm -hmm. And then just days after that, Huawei released their Mate X, or sorry, unveiled their Mate X mm -hmm. foldable phone. So it has me questioning, it has us questioning, what will the other tech giants do like Apple and Google? Will they release a foldable phone? Or is this foldable phone craze kind of like just a laughable novelty similar to the Google Glass that came out a few years ago? A lot of people have been sort of conceptualizing what the latest Apple foldable phone will look like. And if we show it on the screen right now, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of cool. Now. It's similar to what Huawei unveiled without that chin or the grip. It's like a standard folding piece of glass. So these are just concepts, but we do know that Apple has actually been working on some patents mm. for a foldable phone and not just a half fold. They've also been working on a patent with a, a tri-fold, mm -hmm. which could be kind of cool. We're not sure if this is tailored towards the iPhone. It could be for the iPad or kind of like a, a mix of both. Yeah. It might also be for a new MacBook. We're not entirely Ooh. sure. We do know that a Bank of America analyst stated that Apple is working on releasing a foldable phone in the early 2020, so about a year away from now. It would be kind of mind blowing, and this is kind of what I'm hoping for, for Apple to actually be secretly working on it right now and have it ready for this September. I feel like that's sort of the move that Apple needs to do right now to be back on top as the most innovative company in 2019. Well, we did see Huawei did that. Yeah. There's been, there was very little information about their foldable product mm -hmm. until they unveiled it just days ago. So yeah. maybe Apple will do this. I mean, Apple used to be one of the most secretive companies when it comes to what they unveiled. Mm -hmm. They sort of dropped the ball past five years. Everyone knows what they're coming out with. What would it entail? What, what kind of specs are we looking at? We don't really know. Yeah, nothing's really clear right now what it would have, but if we're just comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy Fold mm -hmm. or the Mate Pro, yeah. Mate X Pro, we would expect a very good battery in the range of about 4,400 mm -hmm. to 4,600 milliamp hours. We would probably expect at least eight gigabytes of RAM. Ooh, probably. I don't know about that. Apple's very cheap on the RAM. So maybe four to six then? Four to six. They'd have their A13 chip. Yes, which Always is very, very fast. Chip. It probably wouldn't have headphone jack. <laughs> which Who we cares expect. about the headphone jack? All you people caught up on it. Get a dongle. It's 10 it, bucks. It will likely include a USB-C port instead of yeah. Apple's own lightning cable. They could possibly make this phone more of a tablet that turns into a phone. I feel like that's sort of the way it should be. I mean, otherwise you're just gonna get a tacky phone. Like Huawei did it right. They had a massive screen that turns into a massive phone. And that's sort of what you need to do. Like that's the benefit of having a foldable phone. And that's kind of, I guess, how tablets started in a sense. Yeah. They had phones and they had computers and they had some, They wanted something in the middle. Now they're going from having a tablet and a phone and people kind of wanting something in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now we should expect 512 gigabytes of storage. That's sort of the standard. Apple had it for the iPhone XS Max, iPhone XS. Rumors of a terabyte? Possibly. Possibly. That's Not what they sure. did with their latest iPad. iPad Pro has a terabyte of storage, which is insane. Price-wise, we will expect it to be very expensive. The Galaxy <laughs> Fold is coming in at $2,000. Yep. The Huawei Mate Pro is coming in at $2,600 American. So personally, I would think the iPhone, the foldable iPhone would probably be more than the Huawei phone. Probably mm. like $3,000 to be I, honest. Knowing Apple, possibly, I feel like they're gonna price it less than the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is around $2,000 maxed out. I feel like they'll have it around there. But foldable technology? But if they're pitching it as a an iPad Pro slash phone, that could just one up the price. That would one up the price. I'm hoping for a sub $2,000 phone. Otherwise, no one's gonna buy it. The phones that have been unveiled are just a one fold. Mm -hmm. Apple is patented something with a trifold. That could be pretty cool to see. Whether that is kind of like a, an S form, mm -hmm. or maybe Apple is gearing towards a 100% foldable phone where it's just 100% flexible. Maybe somewhere like a wearable in the transition phase between a watch and a phone. Maybe that's the direction that Apple's going to. So another thing that we saw with the patent was, so Huawei, we know that it folds out. And, yes. then, and then Samsung kind of folds in. Yes. The screen wise. Apple's patents show that it doesn't have a fold out or fold in, but it, you can fold here. If the screens are on the inside of my palms, it can also fold out like this. 
so it folds both ways. Yeah. Ooh. See, that's smart, because then you can protect the screen if you're not going to use it. That hinge is going to be weird. That hinge will be very weird. But like we said earlier, Apple and a lot of big tech companies, they will mm -hmm. file for patents that they never actually produce products of. Mm -hmm. So these are just our speculations and concepts. If there are cool new rumors that you guys think of or have researched on for the foldable iPhone, let us know in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new.